Hey everybody, uh, so I came away on this Thursday and Friday and for the weekend here on a cruise. We got a beautiful suite here going to Cozumel in the middle of the Gulf of Mexico. And I thought to myself, oh, you know, what the heck, take a day and a half away from the computer, from stocks, from commodities, from crypto. Nothing will go on, no big deal. Well, I was wrong. And here I am trading and investing and doing everything, tweeting, all that fun stuff as we've seen a major drop in cryptocurrencies. Uh, of course, we covered our short in Ethereum, then started to buy longs. We're already in the money nearly 10% on a bunch of those trades that we bought. I probably was up at six in the morning this morning putting those trades out. Now, the bottom line is we're seeing the stock market shaky because of a regional bank collapse. Basically, to understand what's going on here, guys, you had the Federal Reserve jack rates up to 5%. Well, all these banks have bonds that they've sold that are only paying one or two percent. So everyone's running away from their bonds, dumping their bonds, dumping their, their assets, their CDs, all that stuff. And essentially they're, they're in trouble. It's causing the, the basically runs on the regional banks. So this is Fed induced folks and it caused panic this morning. We've seen regional banks uh, getting absolutely trounced down 60% yesterday, 60% today on some of these. Now it's huge opportunities for us. So I'm looking across the board, dabbling a little in things, but bottom line is folks, this is where it is. And this is, by the way, I wanna say this. This is the beauty of being able to trade anywhere in the world. You have internet on a cruise, you go away on a cruise and you trade a little bit, especially when the when the data and the craziness is there. Uh, also, just to mention real quick, quick update, jobs report came in stronger than expected, but markets, again, didn't necessarily sell off on that because the regional bank issue is making people realize that the Fed hiking 50 basis points at the next meeting is unlikely because of the disruption in the uh, banking system. So again, is it unintended consequences? Probably. Um, I don't think the Fed necessarily thought ahead, just like they said transitory and we know inflation was not. They didn't think, oh, well, we're going to cause a bank run. We're going to cause issues on regional banks and have them almost go collapse because we're raising rates like this. So the bottom line is this is where we thrive. If you're with me at InTheMoneyStocks.com, VerifiedInvestingCrypto.com, or even educating yourself about everything I do at VerifiedInvestingEducation.com. This is where it's at, folks. I hope you guys all have a wonderful rest of your day. Stay safe. Enjoy your weekend. I'll keep you posted.